What's up, YouTube? Oh, Pixie here. My first tutorial. This tutorial is gonna be on how to display your iPod, iPod, iPad, iPhone onto your computer screen um, with iOS 7 or under that. Um, I'm pretty sure nobody's done an iOS 7 video, but I'm going to right now. Um, basically the same way, but it's a little bit different. Um, I don't have an iPod during this video. I'm gonna have an iPhone and a iPad. Okay. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna download this app called Reflection. Now, just go to reflection.app.org. It's going to be in the description too, but I mean, I mean, if you want to do it this way, I mean, pretty easy. This way too. Hit the download button, then you're going to download it, and then you can save it to whatever you want. I saved it to, I'm pretty sure I saved it to my applications when I did it. Yeah, there it is. So, um, so just basically go ahead and open it. Oops, I guess. Just having a little trouble. Yeah, there it is. Open it up. And this is your choice now. You can buy a reflector. I think it's $20. Or you can try a reflector, which is the, like, you know, not paid version. 10 minutes. You get it for 10 minutes. So we're just going to go ahead and try it. And yeah, you're running a reflector. And the trial mode reflector will automatically close after 10 minutes. Okay. So you're going to click OK. It's running now. Right here. You can see and right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on your iPad. Which I should have been displaying it before, but I'm just I'm display gonna display it right now. But I should have been displaying it before this. But let me just move this over here. Okay, there's my iPad, and when you turn it, it turns it too, which is pretty cool, as I think. Oops, all this stuff popped up now. Gosh dang it. So I guess okay. Right, um, then my iPhone will display. I'm pretty sure you can display it at the same time. I haven't tested it yet, but I'm gonna try it right now. Okay, so I took a minute. Okay, maybe you can't. Let me try here. I thought you could, but we might just have to do it separately or something like that because, as you can see, it is working. Ah, uh, that's gonna suck because I might not be able to show you guys. I also said, "Well, okay, I'm gonna continue on with my video." So, for the for iOS and like under iOS 7, so this is 5.1.1, you know, anything under iOS 7, what you're going to do is you're going to double click this button, not on the computer, but on your device. Double click it, and it's going to show all your recent apps. Just slide over once, and as you can see, this little blue thing right here, you're going to click on that. Now, it's going to be on iPad, because it's not on your computer screen, as you can see. And then what you're really going to do is you're going to click on your computer. It's going to have a name like this, and then you're going to slide this on, so I'm going to show you what it's like, so it's going to be on this. See, it's off. Now when I click on my computer, I turn that on, and there it is. And you can play apps, as you can see. By the way, I'm going to load my Clash of Clans, and it's going to be a sucky base, but, you know, whatever. I don't really care. Okay. <laughs> and the well, iPad does turn when it turns, so well, that's another thing. Clash of Clans. It's loading right on your computer screen, too. Hate how long it takes. I was seven, and if you have, I have the iPhone five C too, so that helps. It goes a lot faster. All right, so here's my base. Like as I make movement, as I make movement, it makes movement on my computer. Screen. Does exactly what I do, basically. Looks like somebody tried to raid me. Okay, um, so that's basically everything. So, that's basically what I'm doing on my iPad. Now, real fast, I'm going to try my hardest to do it on the iPhone. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I'm not sure yet. I haven't tried it yet. But I'm going to give it my hardest and try to do it. Okay, so, let's try this. I'm hoping it will let me. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, there's my iPhone. Okay. This is iOS 7. So what you're going to do on iOS 7 is, you're going to basically, you can do the same thing on your phone, but what you're going to basically do is slide up from right here about, you know how you guys do it, like, I don't know if you guys don't know how to but just basically put your finger right here and slide up. So it's going to look like that. And 
it's not going to say my computer name, like, see how it says your computer name? It's not going to say, it's going to say, it's going to say AirPlay. Like, this is going to say that. And it's going to be on your iPhone margin. Now, you have to have this turned on, by the way, to, in order for it to work. And I'm pretty sure it has to be plugged in. I haven't tried it with that plugged in, but I'm not going to try it. But, um, so, now it's going to be off. So, it's going to be like this. And then you're going to click on your computer and turn this on. This little thing right here on. Mary, you turn that on. So, you have that on. And then, bam, it is on your iPhone. This is iOS 7 for all you people that have downloaded it. And all, like, you guys hate it. I actually like it, but same thing. Turn your phone, you can play any Clash of Clans. And as you can see, it loads a lot faster. See, yeah. But, yeah. So. I'm working on my Clash of Clans base, by the way, so. So that is how to basically use the reflector and how to download it and how to install and how to basically do it on the phone, too. Though, you can do it with the jailbreak, too, but, I mean, why? You might have a chance to screw it up your phone. I have jailbreak stuff, but it screws it up. So that's basically it, guys. And to turn it off, you're just going to scroll up again, click on that, click on your iPhone. Same thing for iPad. You're going to do the same exact thing. Turn it off. Click on the iPad button. Another way you can turn it off is by easily just going. And this is for, this is the back way. This is all, like, if doing this is the same thing as Windows. For the Windows user, you can do this. Even though I'm on the back, yes, this works on Windows too. So you follow my instructions, it works too. But this part doesn't. Well, if you forge quit it. But you're just going to click on the Reflector app and go to the little app right here. Go to Forge Quit and just Forge Quit. Or you can. Yeah, I'm just going to Forge Quit Safari because I. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and another way you can do it is by clicking on it, going like this, quit. Um, you can full screen it too. So, you can go to full screen on it on your computer and you can close the connection you can show frame if you just take the frame off it's like this you can record so like if I started recording I say I'm recording my iPad now my movement on my iPad and I'm pretty sure it records voice too but um Yeah, so that's basically it, guys. Pretty sweet if you ask me. So don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like. And um, basically, I'm working on my subscribers right now. I haven't been uploading too much, but I wanted to do my first tutorial. So I guess thanks, guys, for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.